Sorry about that, y'all. Um, I just noticed that I did not have on my microphone and now I have it, so the sound quality should be a lot better. Okay, so I have my cash envelope breakdown here. So I'm just gonna put this over here to the side so that way we can get right into this video. But first, let's go to my wallet and let's take out my envelopes. So we see we have here this eating out. Let's put these down. We have eating out here. Let's move this over also. And this is for, this is the third paycheck in March, but only my second video because I only started the second week in March. So this is my eating out cash envelope. And I allotted for eating out $100. And so we have 20, 40, 5, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have $58 left in eating out. Now, when I went to the bank and got all the money out or make the withdrawal, I did not put any more money in for eating out. So these ones here and the fives, I'm going to leave them in this envelope because I did not spend a lot for last week. And also, at the end of this week, I get paid every Friday. So at the end of this week, I'll assess and see what I have left in this envelope. Whatever I do have left, then in my ones and my fives, I'll take those out and then I'll restuff this envelope okay so I'm not taking anything out of eating out next we have gas and I allotted $60 for gas I have not had to get any gas so that's staying the same not we're not stuffing gas groceries I allotted $150 for groceries we are a family of five so I figure $150 would be okay but before I went to the bank and withdrew the money. I already, um, I did an online grocery pickup. So this essentially is for like two weeks. So I'm not stuffing groceries. And then miscellaneous, I put $50 in miscellaneous and we still have 20, 35, 6, seven, eight, thirty-nine dollars in miscellaneous. And again, I'm not stuffing any of my wallet cash envelopes. I'm just going, I just wanted to count that for y'all to let y'all see what I have going on. And yeah, so that's that. And guys, these envelopes I got from printing, let's see, no, planner press off Etsy, okay? So didn't stuff my wallet. But now we have my clear binder here and I also have my The Budget Mom cash envelope breakdown. And we are going to stuff, let's see. No, not that, I don't need that. So we're going to stuff our envelopes here. Here I have the $1 challenge. And like I said, at the end of the week, I'll count and pull out however many $1 bills that I have, put them in here. And then I said that I'll do every quarter or however full this gets. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna use a jar or whatever, I don't know, cash savings I'm going to use yet. But for right now, I just have it in this envelope here. Same thing with my $5 challenge. At the end of the week, I'll put the money in here and I'm not gonna count the money until the end of the quarter. My $52 week challenge, let's see. So I didn't start this in the beginning of January. So I have to play catch up. And for, what is it, week 10, 
I have to put in $55. So I said a 10 and a five is the breakdown. No, a 50 and a five. What am I talking about a 10 and a five? So I didn't start it in January, but I'm starting it now, okay? And I think I may count this. No, I'm not gonna count this, but so the 52 week challenge is essentially where you add money in whatever week that you're in. So for instance, week one, you'd add a dollar. Week two, you'd add $2. Week three, you'd add $3. So that by the end of the 52 weeks, you'd have $1,378, okay? If you think that having this money, if you think that having the money just here in the wallet, in your wallet, you're tempted to spend it, you can definitely take this. You can have your bank draft set up so that way if you want to just have transfers made you can definitely do that to help out um if you wanted to do say for instance if you think that the uh, the further along the year goes that say around november december that you won't be able to put money into this consistently then you can start backwards so week one you could have done 52 dollars week two 51 and then just do decreasing amounts that way okay but so yeah so you could do it that way there's a plenty of different ways you can do this challenge those are just some of the ways you could do the increasing one dollar um increasing the amounts each week with whatever week you're in or you can start and work backwards and do $52 the first week, $51 the second week, um, $50 the third week, and so on and so forth, okay? But I'm choosing to do just go up, increase, and deposit or add the money in whichever week I'm in. So for week 10, it's $55, so I just put in $55. And then for anniversary, anniversary is getting $20 and that's 120. And I'll update my slip, my budget tracker slip here um, off camera. Basketball is getting $20, so that's 120 as well. Oh, let's count, so 20, 40, okay. It's $40 in basketball. Let's count anniversary. Anniversary should be 40, 20, 40. Okay. Beauty is getting $25 and that is one five and one twenty. And I think I should have 25 in here. So we have 20, 40, 5, 50. So $50 in beauty. Okay. Birthdays, is birthday getting anything? Yeah, birthdays is getting $20 and that's 120. Let's see what we already have in here. So 20, 40 for birthdays and birthdays is anybody's birthday um, my grandmother, my mom, the kids, my husband, anyone, okay? So birthdays has $40. Cheer, cheer is getting $50. And I said the breakdown is 110 and 220. So 110 and 220. So let's see what we have. This should be a hundred dollars 20 40 60 80 90 100 okay let's see is date night getting anything date night is getting ten dollars so woohoo for date night we're not going anywhere y'all we are just i don't know we just here at the house okay 
let's see how much is debt getting debt is getting 25 so that is a 20 and a 5 okay so let's see what we have I think we already have 25 20 45 50 so debt now has $50 Emergency fund. Emergency fund is getting fifty dollars, so one fifty. And I have to put a budget sheet in here. I'll put that in off camera. Let me move these down. All right. So haircut has is getting thirty dollars, so one ten and one twenty. For a haircut for my son let's see what we have $40 so let's see 20 40 60 70 so my son gets haircuts every two weeks and they are $30 so I figure um, I have this for my husband he can just come and grab it whenever he needs to because my husband does take him for his haircuts holidays is not getting anything again this paycheck and the holidays are just for like the 4th of July Memorial let's see, Memorial Day 4th of July uh, Easter holidays like Labor Day holidays like that where we have to where we typically would buy more things to grill so not for Christmas I have a Christmas club account at the credit union where it pulls $25 out each paycheck so that goes into here and that's that's my cashless sinking fund and I also have a vacation cashless sinking fund um, at the credit union and then I also have um, just a savings sinking fund there as well so which is why you don't see Christmas vacation and then savings um, you do see emergency fund, but you don't show. I don't show savings here because seventy-five dollars comes out each week as well. I don't see it, so it comes straight out of my account over into the. It goes into the credit union, and then we also have money that's automatically transferred each time my husband gets paid into our mutual fund. Okay, monthly. All right, and then let's see, household is getting $20. And when I say household, that's things like cleaners because I t always, whenever I buy groceries, and I've been doing this online pickup order, I've been doing, whenever I do um, grocery order or online order, my daughter may say, hey, I need some soap or I need some, we need some dishwashing detergent or dishwashing liquid, or she may need some deodorant, something like that. That's what this household is going to be for. Okay, so mom is not getting anything. Nails is getting $50, and that is one $50 bill. So let's see what we have. Okay, 50, 70, 90. 110 and for nails it's I do I take I pay for me and both of my daughters I have a 16 year old and a 19 year old I need to stop paying for my 19 year old because she does have a job but she spends her money how she wants to spend it um, so I need to stop doing that investments I don't have anything for investments we are going to start a Roth IRA but I just need to look at everything and see how I want to break that down and then we'll start contributing to this um, in addition to our 401ks my husband has a 403b because he's a teacher and then our mutual fund and then our savings so this is this is going to be for our um, Roth IRA my dog or puppy Ryder is getting ten dollars because he needs to get ten dollars okay summit where is summit summit is getting a hundred dollars and what did i put 
one $100 bill for Summit. And y'all, for those of you who don't know, Summit, my daughter is a competitive cheerleader, so this is $200. She's a competitive cheerleader and she's a high school cheerleader. And at the end of the year, they have this, well, they have to get a bid, which means if they did so well at one of the competitions, um, whoever was sponsoring that competition give out bids for Summit. You can either get a wild card, an at-large, or a paid Summit bid. And so we have our bid, and so we're going to Summit, which is in Orlando, Florida, at the ESPN Wild World of Sports. It's the biggest cheer competition of the season. And so we're going, and I wanna have put money back so that we can have spending money, okay? Taxes isn't getting anything right now. So yeah, I'll get back to that. And is that everything, y'all? Is that everything? So I do know that, okay, so I have here, I think that's everything for my um, envelopes, but I also have TXU Energy, and that's $190, so I have 100, 150, 220s, so for 190, so it's 100, 150, 170, 190. Okay, so I will, I have to find somewhere to put this. I do have another envelope that I could use this for. So I could put it in here. And this is for, um, like I said, our utilities. Okay, so I'll put this in here because y'all, y'all know that Texas, we were in that winter storm and our bill went from 220 in January. No, the first week of whenever it was, January, yeah. And then this month it is $379.10, which is crazy. Um, and then for next month, we're on track because we haven't had the air or the heat on since February the 22nd. And so y'all we're on track we're doing good it's a kind of, it sometimes it gets kind of cool but hey just put on layers you just put on layers you just put on layers because i just switched over to txu energy from ambit and i'm just i'm still trying to see this is our third month in okay and then spectrum is um i allotted 157 but i'm doing 160 so 100 150 160 okay so let's put this in here. I'm going to start um, a utilities folder or envelope, which is going to be this one. And I'll take these out because I have these in my um, wallet over there. So this is going to be for utilities. And then this is going to be for um, our TV, internet, home phone, Spectrum. All right, and y'all, that is it for this cash stuffing video for paycheck number three. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, if you wanna see cash stuffings, budget breakdowns, I haven't done a budget breakdown yet, but I will. Sinking funds, if you want to do that, if you want to see that, and it also, if you like planning videos, I do plan every week. I do plan with me's. I do after the pins or writing with me's. If you like that um, type of content, come back, subscribe to my channel, make sure that you um, hit the notification bell and make sure that you hit all notifications so that you don't miss whenever I upload. And also, if you wanna follow me, I'm over on Instagram at Plan with Rochelle. And thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.